Hey guys, welcome back to The Nomadic Foodie. My name is Kat, and today I am going to show you the best seafood in the Florida Keys, from Key Largo to Isla Morada to Marathon, and also a private island off of Key West. So if you love seafood and you wanna see what's out there, what to eat and what to not eat, I'm going to show you where to go. So we are starting off in Key Largo. This is Key Largo Fisheries Backyard Cafe, where you can find a fried hogfish sandwich. What is hogfish? Hogfish is a Florida Keys delicacy. It's actually so uniquely tied to the Florida Keys that unless you've visited the Keys, you probably haven't even heard of hogfish before. And I live in Florida and I've never heard of hogfish before, but I can tell you it is delicious. So first of all, this hogfish was really meaty. It was lightly breaded and fried. And actually a lot of chefs feel that hogfish has the perfect combination of flavor and texture because they are a little sweeter than grouper and it's a little more flaky than mahi-mahi and it's as rich as scallops. So it has a really mild flavor and it has sweet undertones. It is super juicy and delicious and melts in your mouth. So definitely try the fried hogfish sandwich when you're in Key Largo at the Key Largo Fisheries Backyard Cafe. Next up, we are staying in Key Largo, and I will say there are lots of restaurants for sunset dining in the Keys. Not surprisingly, right? But a lot of these places are pretty overpriced. You know, it's overpriced and they have mediocre food at best. And I hate to say it, but Sundowners is kind of a downer. <laughs> So I got the steak and seafood kebabs and it's drizzled with garlic butter and served over rice and beans. And the thing is about grilled things, right? There's a fine line between grilled and burnt, right? So grilled, of course, is blackened. You have that smoky flavor, right? But when it's burnt, you're just eating ashes. So this was a little bit of both. I wasn't not impressed at all. The rice and beans had a lot more flavor, so I did like that, but it was undercooked and a little too dry. And I'm sorry, but rice and beans, if you can't get rice and beans right, I don't know what to tell you as a restaurant. It's rice. <laughs> But I will say if you do come to Sundowners, get the fish and chips. It's a really safe thing to order, of course. So this is an ale battered fish and chips. So the batter they use has the local beer. It's the Key West Sunset Ale. So this is a medium bodied amber ale and it had like a toasted malt finish to it. So this fish and chips was really good. If you do come here, definitely get fish and chips and they serve it with fresh cut fries and the usual suspects. You're gonna get the tartar sauce, the cocktail sauce, and malt vinegar. And the reason people come to Sundowners is for the sunset and I don't blame them. I loved the sunset views here. Just don't get the steak and seafood kebabs but stick with the fish and chips and it's gonna be okay. All right so next up we have Isla Morada. This is another sunset dining restaurant that I actually really liked. So this one you can get both delicious food and awesome sunset views. So if you want that it's only 15 minutes south from Key Largo. So this is Morada Bay Cafe. I did a more in-depth video on that you can check it out on the top right hand corner after this video but I got the Thai Key West tacos so this had the local Florida Keys pink shrimp so once again this is another local delicacy and pink shrimp is known for their sweet tender meat and it have a nice little snap when you bite into it really juicy I definitely recommend this this was made with coconut shrimp and this pink shrimp was tempura battered so it had a really nice flavor profile with the salon and the basil pesto. So I definitely recommend getting this pink shrimp taco. Okay, so we are moving down south to Marathon. This is actually not too far away from Bahia Honda State Park, which I covered in this video, and you can check it out there on the top right hand corner later. So this is Porky's Barbecue and Seafood. This is a marathon. They had some really great sushi rolls at a really reasonable price, and I really liked their creativity in making new and non-traditional sushi rolls. And you're gonna find a lot of sushi options at Porky's. So we tried the tempura shrimp roll, the spicy conch roll, the barbecue pork fried roll, which that one is not seafood actually. So 
<laughs> and we also had the sweet roll and I can tell you they were all really delicious but my favorite was the sweet roll which was a coconut shrimp sushi and that was super delicious so if you like sushi you can check out Porky's and Marathon so last but not least we are going all the way down south to Key West and even off of Key West we're going to a private island it's called Sunset Key and this is Latitude this is probably my favorite restaurant in the Keys if you've watched my previous videos you can really see that and I did a full review on this video on the top right hand corner so if you want to check it out after this I do recommend that you will not be disappointed so this is grouper fish tacos grouper once again this is a really meaty fish and I really liked what they did with this fish taco so this was a tempura battered grouper it's really got the nice crunch it's on flour tortillas they topped it off with some crispy slaw and jack cheese tomato salsa and chipotle aioli so this was really good seafood you guys really fresh and you can't beat this view this whole experience was awesome so if you are looking for a good seafood and a really unique experience of taking a boat onto a private island to have seafood definitely check out this place I really recommend it all right I hope this helped you guys with your food options in the Keys there are a ton a ton of seafood options but I tried to get something that's a little more interesting for you guys so if this was helpful for you guys please give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more travel guides you know where to eat where to go in the Florida Keys go ahead and subscribe and stay tuned.